Hey friends, happy Wednesday. Um, time for another training vlog. Today's training vlog is gonna be pretty basic. I'm kind of stressed out because I'm leaving for Japan tomorrow, uh, also known as today for you guys on Wednesday. I am leaving for Tokyo for a week and so I'm frantic and busy and stressed out, but we still gotta get our training in especially before I go on vacation because who knows how much time I'll have to train there. So we're just gonna get right into it. Okay, so today I wanna take a minute to talk about something that's not new, um, but I just feel like I have to say my piece. But there is a lot of unsolicited coaching that happens on the internet. <laughs> And I just want to talk about it for a quick minute today because it's something that really drives me nuts. For example, just recently, I've had a couple comments on my Instagram. Someone said, you know, uh, you say you suck at cardio, but I never see you working on cardio. Like, don't you think you need to work on your weakness to be a good athlete? And then, you know, someone on this channel said, hey, if you're so bad at squats and you just love working on squats so much, why, have, why aren't you squatting? Let me let you guys in on a little secret here. What you see on Instagram and what you see on this channel is like 10% of my training. Maybe I'll give you 25%. I'm in the gym five days a week. There's a lot you guys aren't seeing. <laughs> so, don't assume that I'm not working on something just because you don't see me working on it. And as far as the coaching, I understand that most of the time it comes from a good place. Maybe you guys are concerned about me or my joints or you know, you wanna help me out. You know, you feel like I help you guys in your fitness journey, you wanna return the favor, help me out a little bit. Um, but I will tell you this, even if those are your intentions, it doesn't feel that way on my end. And I would never post something with dangerous form. You know, I'm not saying that my form is always perfect on everything. It, I know it's not. I know I have a lot of technique stuff to work on, uh, but I know the difference between dangerous form and good form, right? Good form doesn't mean perfect form, but it's not dangerous. I don't wanna say I don't, <laughs> this is gonna, I, I am afraid that this is gonna come off rude and I, and I don't want it to, um, but at the same time, you know, you don't know what my coach is saying behind the scenes when the camera is off. You don't know what little things I'm working on in my technique. And I've talked with other fitness influencers about this and I'll just tell you, nobody likes it. <laughs> and I'm, I'm sorry if that upsets you. I, I'm struggling a lot with this conversation because I know that I sound very ungrateful. I love all of you guys, I love when you engage with my content and I love sharing my journey with you and I love hearing about your journeys. It's just this one tiny baby thing that really just grinds my gears. It's just, a, here's, here's what I'll say. It's not that I think you guys don't know what you're talking about. It's not that I think you guys are all dumb or whatever, I don't think that. It's just that you don't fully know me and my training so a lot of the times the things you're saying are either not good cues for me or something I'm already working on or I mean sometimes it is just incorrect. My point is just that what you see online by choice but also just by the nature of it is a, a small, very small fraction of me and my life and my training. I feel like I'm gonna piss so many people off and you guys are all gonna think I'm a huge bitch but I just, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like being coached by strangers on the internet who don't work out with me and don't know me or my coach or my training plan. Okay, and, and I'll say this. Sometimes I also get the urge to help people online. I'll see um, my friends or other influencers do a skill or a movement and 
And in my head, I'm like, oh, they should try this, or they should work on this, or this might be a good cue for them. I, th I also think those things, but I have never actually posted them, or messaged them, or commented them. Because I know what it's like to be on the other side of that. I know that they have a coach and maybe they are working on those things and I just don't know it. And so unless they ask for my help, I'm not going to just throw it at them, right? Because I don't know their training and I don't know them as an athlete well enough to coach them. And that's really the point of this is that you guys, it's not that you don't know me. Whatever you get is 100% me, but you're not getting 100% of me, right? It just wouldn't be possible for you to see every minute of my training of every day. So you don't know me well enough as an athlete to properly coach me or to properly say, hey, uh, you suck at this thing, you should work on it. I'm probably working on it. <laughs> I don't have a very big ego. I know what I suck at and I know that I suck at it and I know that I need to work on it to get better and I am doing those things. Just next time you have the urge to coach somebody online in on their Instagram or uh, you know YouTube channel whatever just take a second and say geez how well do I really know this person as an athlete and also are they asking for help? Maybe just say some words of encouragement instead. Hey, glad to see you're working on your squats. Keep it up. Wow, you're getting really strong. Good job. Like, just instead of coaching people online, try to encourage them instead. And I promise you that those comments will be much better received and those people will be much more grateful and thankful for those comments than they will be for unsolicited coaching. That's it. Um, like I said, I'm leaving for Japan tomorrow, AKA today, and I'll be there for a week. I am probably going to have a video for you on Sunday, but if I miss it, I'm sorry. That means I didn't have Wi-Fi and or time to edit. I will be in Tokyo, so if you have fun things that I definitely absolutely need to see and or do in Tokyo, tell me. <laughs> we need all the things. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you still like me and don't hate me and I promise I'm not a huge bitch. I just am telling you like it is. <laughs> Please come back. Don't leave me. I still love you. And that's that. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you missed Sunday's video, I did a protein bar taste test where we rated five different protein bars against each other. Watch that. And if you want to catch up on all my other training vlogs, you can use this playlist. <laughs>